everyone. This is Pratibha here and today we are going to explore and discuss the technique of writing in the genre of ghost stories or paranormal fiction. Now instigating fear and dread is one of the hardest reactions to provoke amongst your readers. Indeed having a modern readership who are sufficiently cynical with all the hardcore proofs of science, medicines and uh, digital recordings easily available, it can be pretty challenging to leave that bruise bumpy and jittery feeling among your readers. There is no doubt that if you can creep your readers with a chilling ghost story, indeed you have mastered the art of writing in an ingenious way. Kudos, you are a genius where writing is concerned. But in course of my research and learning about the process of writing cross-genre fiction, I have realized that uh, even writing uh, ghost stories follows the similar pattern of all other fictional works. Here the focus is around a central character and the momentum is built around it with the blend of uh, right settings, mood, pacing, symbol and twist endings. So here are some of the ideas and techniques of crafting scary ghost stories, some of uh, which are from my personal experience of writing paranormal and some from the ideas I have researched and assimilated from other experienced authors uh, for my own personal journey as a writer. So let us begin. So the first technique is use your own experience. Use the experience of your own feelings or fear factor of what uh, frightens you or creeps you out and use that in your own writing. Meaning simply write what you know. Ask yourself what is it about the ghost phenomenon that scares you most. Let your imagination work and just see yourself in a lonely haunted place alone and um, try to think how will you deal with it. Use your sensations and fears and try to enact them in your scenes. Read or watch out a few spine chilling horror movies and keep a keen eye for the parts of where you got scared and what uh, symbol of, or formulas the author used to pitch in that scary mood. Then the next tip for writing your ghost story is to think about the characteristics of the ghost. What kind of ghost will feature in your story? Will it be a friendly one or demonic one? Will it keep a watch out for the protagonist or will it endanger life and property? Will it be a funny ghost which uh, keeps the readers amused or will it be a um, sad, lonely ghost who is uh, trying to find closure? Maybe it will be in love with the protagonist and there will be a romantic angle to the story. So thinking about this at the beginning will help you decide on the general mood of the story and get it rolling from then on. Then uh, the next uh, technique you have to work on for crafting a ghost story is the settings. So the environment is the first thing you need to work on as a writer of a ghost story and use it to your maximum advantage to create an eerie, hair-raising experience for your readers. In other words, uh, the settings you use in your story must be able to infuse a feeling of uh, discomfort and unease in your readers. It may be anything from a, a lonely deserted road to a neighboring apartment to a far-flung town in uh, the outskirts of the city. Then certain uh, sinister happenings may be leveraged to incite fear in the readers such as um, walking through a certain corridor of the house may arouse chills or there may be noises coming from the children's bedroom which, which may be different from the kid of the house or the pet dog of the protagonist may, um, be, may be, uh, reluctant to enter a certain area of the house maybe the back patio of the house and so on. So the next factor uh, or the next tip we can use for crafting a ghost story is the research. Read a lot about a real life haunting stories or paranormal places. This will give you a lot of insights about haunting and the paranormal phenomenon. Um, former paranormal thriller Child of Paradise Listen to Your Dreams 
I did a lot of research on hauntings, ghost sightings, as well as on paranormal investigators, psychics and mediums. I even spoke to a lot of psychics and mediums to learn a lot about the experiences and their work. So this gave me a lot of inspiration and ideas to write my story. My research was extensive that sometimes it even got me scared and unnerved. So I took care to see that I, uh, I did all the research in the daytime. I would read all the material in the daytime, do all my research in the daytime um, when my family was around, especially when my husband was around. And uh, uh, if he was out of town, I would stop my research completely as the nights would be frightening and I would not be able to sleep at all. So you can say writing a paranormal story can be quite uh, unnerving for the author as well. Then the next point is uh, brainstorming. So brainstorm as many ideas as possible and uh, write the various possible outcomes that might happen from these ideas. Keep exploring and play around those possibilities. Ask questions like the readers and analyze every details of those answers whether it is the protagonist whether it is the settings, the external events or the side characters. Uh, check out which um, outcomes satisfy you and use that. So once you brainstorm all the ideas, outline all the events in a chronological order. Take care that the scenes flow naturally from one to another by placing the weird spor sporadic events at the beginning of the story and as the story becomes pick up space uh, make the uh, occurrences more frequent make the paranormal happenings more frequent don't rush it and take time to build up the tension slowly delaying the confrontation or the moment of revelation will keep the readers shivering in delicious anticipation imply certain possibilities in the minds of readers by leaving false clues and use the power of suggestion. This will allow space for your reader's mind to wander and conjure up images, thereby making your story a spooky and a memorable experience for the readers. Then the next technique we have is about the characters. Take time to create the protagonist of the story. Take time to explore every aspect such as the protagonist looks, past, motivation, the character traits, uh, the weaknesses and strengths. Why are they being haunted? What led them to that particular situation? Are there any specific reason why they're susceptible to paranormal happenings? How would they react to the events in the story? So, for the readers, the protagonist is the main link to the paranormal phenomenon. So make, make the protagonist as three-dimensional and as relatable as possible to the reader. Then start working on your antagonist and that would be your coast. Think about where the coast came from. Is it a young woman or an elderly man or a little kid? How did they die? What is their motive for appearing? What ties them to that place? What kind of coast is it? Is it sad, demonic, yearning, romantic or vindictive? What does their voice sound like? Do they have any special powers? So think on all those lines to give a deeper dimension to your coast. Then next is uh, you need to think about the supporting characters in your story as um, they will provide a better insight to your readers about your coast story. How do they feature in the protagonist's life? How, what is their relationship to the main character? How do they help the protagonist or contrarily uh, will they create difficulties for the protagonist? What is the main motivation behind their decision? So work on their uh, personalities and their unique qualities so that uh, they add further dimension to your story to make it sound more real. Then we come to the last step which is delay the revelation. So once you've created all the content, um, drop down all the scenes sequentially. Start slow while building your momentum and take time to reveal your coast. This will build anticipation in your readers and enhance the reading experience. And keep the um, scarier scenes towards the end of the story. Keep it a dramatic but quick ending. Don't offer detailed explanation 
but um, leave some questions unanswered or some conflicts unresolved. So leaving some things to the reader's imagination will uh, produce doubt in the reader's mind and make a long lasting impression on them. So we are done with the last tip. Using the above tips as well as your own instincts and creativity will get you started with writing your course story. Keep practicing consistently and you will uh, naturally improve with time. You can also use writing prompts to help you out. Uh, read a lot on this genre. So leverage your imagination to the maximum to help you craft that uh, unique course story that might just keep you awake all night or might just get you scared to walk down empty rooms or dark corridors. So with this we come to the end of um, tips and techniques to write a creepy ghost story. So let me know in the comments if it helped you or anything else you would like to add to this uh, tips and techniques. You can also write about your favorite ghost uh, story or a novel or any of your own personal experience. I would love to read about it and um, do like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, if you haven't. So with this we come to the end of this video. So see you again. Bye.